Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer. I'm the CEO and founder of the Instant Boss Club. Today we'll be talking about my three favorite Instagram tips to gain followers. My first tip is to use keywords. So let me show you where you should be using keywords on Instagram. Right underneath your profile image, you'll see that I have in bold letters, hashtag influencer, hashtag Instagram tips. This is normally where somebody would put their name. So I see a lot of people, if their Instagram name is instant bosses, they also have instant bosses in that bold section there. That is a wasted opportunity because this is where you can actually put keywords that are searchable inside of Instagram. So when people are searching certain terms, your Instagram account is more likely to be pushed to the top if you're using those keywords. I like to actually use hashtags because I feel like some people would actually search hashtags versus the actual words. So if I type in, I go into my search bar and I type in Instagram tips, you'll see that my account pops up first. So I have Instant Boss Club, but I also have Instant Bosses that pops up a little bit later, but you'll see all these other people that are having the terms Instagram tips in their account. So you'll see there's mine, there's my other account, Here's another one, Instagram tips, Instagram tips. She, she didn't use the hashtag, but she is using the keywords in that bold section. So think about what keywords your customer is gonna be searching for on Instagram or somebody that wants to follow you. What are they gonna be searching for? And put that keyword in that name section there, or even better, use a hashtag that you think people would be searching for. So next, I want to show you what alt text is. So you may be familiar with this term because you may have a website and when you upload photos to your website, it asks you for an alt text. Alt text is just a fancy word for people that are impaired, cannot see, they may be blind and cannot um, actually see what is going on on their screen. So the computer will actually tell them what is on the picture. So for instance, if I had... Um, this photo right here is obviously of a girl popping out of a Polaroid picture saying business feature. Um, so I'm going to go over and edit this post so you can see what I'm talking about here. So in the very bottom right hand corner, it says edit alt text. So like I said, this is where you'd want to write things like woman popping out of Polaroid picture talking about business feature. You also want to add in those keywords that customers may be searching for on Instagram. So something like for me, I'm trying to attract influencers and business owners. So I may put business feature for business owners um, in my alt text. So that's a really important area. What's great about this area is that this is now searchable on Google. Yes, you heard that right. Your Instagram is now searchable on Google. So you could be ranked on the keywords that you're using based on this alt text right here. So make sure you're using that area. My next tip is collaboration over competition. There are a lot of different ways that you can collaborate with accounts that are similar to yours. One of the ways I really like to collaborate with people is a shout out for shout out or a share for share. So it's really simply put, I would share somebody else's photo that they have given me along with a caption. I would leave it up on my feed for an hour. Most of the time that caption says something like, check out this account, go follow them, they're awesome, whatever it says, it links over to their account so my followers can follow their account. Or we could do this with a Instagram story kind of thing where you post one of their photos that's currently on their feed and you tag them in your post telling your followers to go follow their account or go check out their account. They in turn do the same thing for you. So normally when I would make a post on my actual Instagram account, sometimes the photo that I'm sharing is not something that really fits the aesthetic of my Instagram account and that's fine. I only leave the post up for an hour while the person returning the favor also only leaves the post up for an hour. When I do Instagram stories, it's a little bit easier because we can both leave it up for 24 hours. Um, but that is called a share for share. So it's kind of sometimes it's hard to find people that want to do this with you and that's why I created this Facebook account this Facebook group sorry where you can collaborate with fellow influencers but if you're a small business owner or boutique owner 
I also have a group for you. So be sure underneath this video in the blog post or in this YouTube video, wherever you're watching this, I will have the links to join these free Facebook groups. And in these groups, as an influencer, you'll get collaborations, but also you can collaborate with people that are the same size as you. So you'll see here, we already have 33 comments. I just posted this four hours ago. Um, with 5,000 followers or less, we have 5,000 to 10,000 followers, 10,000 to 30,000 followers, and it continues on to even bigger and bigger accounts. So this makes it really easy for you to find people that are the same size as you and collaborate with them. We have lots of great things inside of this um, Facebook group, so be sure to join it. It's completely free to join. Now, as a boutique owner, oh, let me jump over to the boutique owner. You also can check out the influencer group and all the good stuff inside and collaborate with fellow boutique owners and small business owners. So I'll also drop the link to that below. Another great way to gain more followers on Instagram is to do a product giveaway. So let me just search product giveaway and see if I can find an example for you. I had one popped up, but it just exit. Okay, here it is. So you'll see this one looks like it's already closed down, but you'll see all these product photos. So if you are a business and let's sell, say you sell eyelashes or you sell, I don't even know what that is, a nose scraper. I don't even know what that is, whatever it is. <laughs> and let's say you sell hair products. So now you come together with similar accounts that also sell beauty products and you put all your products together and make it a big giveaway where people follow each one of your accounts in order to enter to win. This makes it really easy to collaborate with similar accounts as yours. So if you're a small business owner or boutique owner, make sure you join that Facebook group we talked about to do product giveaways like these. If you're a blogger, you could also do loop giveaways where you enter in cash um, to the host and then they put together um, you all, you all um, do like a giveaway of a laptop or um, a PayPal giveaway or you give away money. There's all sorts of different ideas uh, of what you could give away. But as a blogger or an influencer, it's easier just to pay for a big prize together. So you're collaborating with a bunch of different accounts and you're all gaining followers. Another great thing to do is an Instagram story takeover. So Instagram story uh, takeover would mean that you would create a video and then send it to the person that has their account. They would post that video onto their Instagram stories while they send you a video that you would post on your Instagram stories. Really easy. You take over their account for the day, let them know a little behind the scenes of who you are, what you do, and all of that fun stuff. Um, I also would check out feature accounts. So that would be something like Darling Escape. So let's say that you're a travel blogger and you want to be featured on this account that has 215,000 followers on their account. You want to be featured, but you don't want to have to pay to be featured, right? All you have to do with this account is tag hashtag Darling Escapes and make sure you tag them on their posts. If they like what they see, they'll repost it for free. These are called feature accounts. I have tons of them inside the Instant Boss Club membership. So you can check that out at instantbossclub.com if you want to check out the feature accounts. But they take time to find, but they are on Instagram. So search those feature accounts based on the niche that you're in. If you're in fashion, search out fashion feature accounts. If you're in business, business feature accounts. All sorts of great feature accounts are on Instagram and at your disposal to use. So make sure you're using them, their hashtags, and tagging them on your photos. My last tip is using hashtags creatively. So by now, I'm assuming that you've read a lot of articles on how to grow your following and you've watched a lot of videos on how to grow your following. So you've seen all the tips on hashtags, but... I want to make sure that you're using all 30 hashtags that Instagram allows because when you're not using all the hashtags, you're missing out on opportunities of people that may find your account. You can use these in your caption or in your comment section. For me, it works the same. Test it out for yourself and see which one works best for you. The tip I want to give you today though is to check your hashtags. Make sure they're working for your account. One of the apps that I really like for this is called SmartHash. Let me jump over to SmartHash. 
So Smart Hash allows you to split test your hashtags and see which ones are working for your account. You'll see that I've tested quite a few different hashtags and I've put together a great list that's actually working for my account. So any of them that are yellow, orange, or red means that they're working. If they're gray, it means it hasn't been tested yet, it's not working, or it's just totally not working for your account. You need to try a different hashtag. So like I said, I tried multiple different sets of hashtags, found a good group that are all working, put them together as one list, and I keep creating new lists. So I suggest using around three to four different sets of hashtags and circulate them throughout your post. SmartHash is a great app to help you find which ones are working for your account. But that's not all. I want to show you how you can creatively use these hashtags that you know you're there, that you know are working. Number one, we already talked about using those in your keywords at the top section there in your name section. But did you know you can use them in your Instagram stories? Let me show you how I do that. So I'm going to snap a picture really quick here. I'm just going to give it a solid background. I'm going to grab the dropper button and I'm going to... Oops, grab this section. Here we go. Green. Hold down the back screen for a little bit and it changes that color. So from here, let's say I wanted to add my hashtags. So let's use hashtag InstaBossMob. That's my hashtag for the Instant Boss Club members. Um, let's try hashtag Instagram tips because that's what I do. And let's just add in some more really quick. We can add up to 10 hashtags. So whatever you want them to be, they can be. What's great is here at the bottom, it even pops up with suggestions. So let's say there's 10 hashtags there because I don't want to keep you here and keep tagging hashtags. But let's say we had 10 in here. That's the max that we can use. So we don't want them to look you know, stand out on our pictures and people think, oh wow, she's got a lot of hashtags on her post, right? So I can either make them really, really small and I can add a picture over them, so a sticker and just cover them. Or if I didn't wanna add a sticker and I wanted them to just be hidden on my post, I can go back in here, click the same color as my background, and poof, they disappear. What's great is you can do this with even pictures that you upload in. Um, so say you had like a picture of candy canes or a picture of your dog or whatever, you just wanna find the most solid part of your background, use this dropper button, find that color, and boom, those hashtags will disappear into your background. I hope you have enjoyed today's tips. I hope that you'll use them and grow your following on Instagram. Be sure to join our Facebook groups. They're completely free to join. Influencers Connect and Boutique Owners Connect. Um, I really, really enjoyed our time together here. And if you want to check out more tips like these, be sure to check out instantbossclub.com. Our membership site is full of tips, tricks, and tools to help you grow on your social media, make more sales, and grow your influence. I'm going to drop those links to those Facebook groups below, and I hope to see you on the inside.